All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about what are some alternatives to a PhD in economics. And I think this video will help everybody that is thinking about doing a PhD and thinking about the sort of creative ways that you could do one. All right, so if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Massack, I'm Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. Um, all right, so what are some alternatives? Actually, I think what you're really looking for and thinking about is um, what can you do instead of a PhD in economics? Now, there's a bunch of courses that you could take, right? PhD in sociology. You, there's actually a lot of stuff that goes on there. So I'm probably in a unique position that in the business school and the stuff that we do, we cover a smattering of different stuff. So we cover... Um, you know, all sorts of different disciplines. It's, it's very interdisciplinary. I've taken a bunch of courses and econ, um, graduate level econ courses. You know, I, I was trying to, to, to um, double major, I guess, in my comps um, in, in finance and in strategy. I think I was like two courses away. Um, I would have done it in finance, but um, you know, some, some things happen. Anyway, so I took a bunch of courses. And um, you can definitely do it at a business school. That's really, really common, super common, um, or, you know, in a business program. Or uh, you could do things in sociology. There's some really overlapping things. You could do things in psychology, depending on if you're more interested in decision making. There are some really cool things that are going on there, and that's becoming a hotter area. Um, the sort of Dan Ariely kind of stuff. Um, but I think like the bigger thing is, you know, it's not necessarily discipline specific Oh, industrial engineering, you might be able to do some stuff there uh, in terms of thinking about optimization. And particularly if you're more interested in like the financial markets, there's some stuff that's going on there. But you know, what I think you are more interested in is you know, or what I would get you to do is get you to think about and do the research game first before you actually jump into it. Because I want you to actually learn about what it is to do research. It's really different than what you think it is. It's not teaching. You're not like, you don't do a PhD to teach. Um, you know, like, I, unfortunately, it is really about the research stuff, right? So, what I would recommend for you to do is, you know, two, two sort of things. The first one is see if you can write, read and write on your own for a couple of months before you even start thinking about this. Like pick up some readings, some academic readings, go into scholar.google.com and start reading some of the academic journals. So if you are yeah. If you're in economics, then you might want to read American Economic Review. Like, read genuine ac academic research articles in your particular field, right? Um, and, or, you know, Journal of Financial Economics, if you're doing something more on the financial side, right? Like, read those things that are within those specific areas, those articles, because they're way different than what you're thinking about at this moment. It's way different than a textbook. And see if you can read something and write something like write 15 pages on based on some of the, one of the topics that you have done. And if you still like it, then um, after a couple of months, then you can maybe start considering it, right? It's really, really tricky to do this. The other thing I want you to do in terms of practical experience, see if you can either be uh, a research assistant of some kind, uh, whether or some sort of support um, person for for the first little bit, right? For six months, a year, just to get that practical experience to see what you actually do. And, you know, you might be doing some data cleaning or something, going through a bunch of data. Uh, but, you know, that is actually what the career is about. And I want you to sort of think about that. How can you impute the experience of what the career is about before you go into it? Get that practical experience down and that's gonna help you out a lot, right? And if you could do those things, right? If you could actually do the two of those things, you'd be really set. And if you could do both of those things, you're really gonna get a sense of the career, what you're supposed to do, 
and you're gonna really understand like, ah, do I like this? Do I not like this? Right now you're kind of on the fence, right? If you're asking that question, you're really on the fence. You don't really know the career that well. Um, so I want you to really take a deep dive and do some of this more practical stuff. Like really practically sit down and try to do this. And if you can do that and you could do it for a few months, the career might be pretty good for you. But if you can't do it at all, right? You sit down and you try to do it and you're like, I don't know what to do. Man, it's not for you. Right? Like it is a really, really tough career that way where you're trying to figure out how do I manage this and do this myself. It's all, nobody's going to care about you in the career. They really don't. You have to pick things up and do it yourself. Uh, so if you could do this and just pick it up and start exploring, start doing these things, then you'll understand that the career is actually for you. Right? And it's very, you'll, you'll appreciate the fact that I actually told you to do this if you listen to it. A, you're going to end up with this sort of really good experience at the end of it that you can tell people, hey, I did this. And then B, you'll actually have a product at the end of it, you know, this sort of research paper, or maybe it's a couple of research papers that you could say, I actually did this. And that's going to help you out tremendously in the career. Nobody does this, by the way. And if you do this, you will get hired at the best universities. And if you're like, do a decent job of these things, you will. Um, you will get into a PhD program at the best universities because you've actually spent the time to figure this stuff out. And then you'll be able to navigate the market that much more. I guarantee it. That's literally how you do it. Um, and I've seen it many times before. And those people that have done those kind of things uh, have been successful. And, and if not, you're just kind of grabbing at straws at this moment. All right. So hopefully this helps you out. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Do go on to the reciprocity.com platform. Um, I'm trying to build this out. It's to help everybody do research and write and do work a lot better and easier. So make sure that you go check it out. All right, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.